Welcome back to America's Frontline. And today we have Ken Hall with us. He is the CEO of Armor Research Company, which produces ballistic armor materials for law enforcement and military. What are your thoughts on the issues we're having right now at our southern border? Boy, I'll tell you what, it's a plethora of thoughts going in every direction because on one side, you have the plight of the people that are trying to migrate. And that is a sad thing. And, and I think they're being... Um, tricked more or less uh, into coming here uh, with false thoughts of what they're going to achieve. On, on the other hand, we have our national security and we have a way of, do, we have, we're a nation of laws, at least we used to be. My thoughts on, on the whole process is we have to stick, we have to go by our laws. We, ha, we, we are a nation of laws. If we don't have that, we don't have anything. Therefore, I th I think this country needs immigration. I think it's a healthy thing for the country. I think it has to be done through legal means. I don't think the president and the administration has the task of enforcing law, not making law. And I don't think they're doing that at this time, at least with regard to this matter. The drugs that are coming across are, in, are intended to degrade our society. I think it's a it's a... Uh, almost an act of war. I think that um, we're, I don't think we have control of the border. I think it's being run by the cartels in Mexico. Matter of fact, I know that to be a fact. Um, therefore, we're giving them operational control of our sovereign border. I think that's a major problem. And uh, I think that it's just destroying lives for every child used to enter the United States so that they, the people can stay as a family. A good majority of those children are going into the, uh, are being trafficked into pedophilia and every other sick thing. Um, and, and the same goes with a lot of, of the women that are, that are coming across. Uh, the cartels have no compunction for, for mercy. Have, they're, they're, they want to make a profit. That's all they care about. And they're willing to do anything to do that. That's obvious. Um, we have ter identified terrorists coming across the border. We catch them every, every month. We have um, people from nations so far away that have nothing to do with the plight of the, of the South Americans that are flying into South America to make that, mo that uh, tra transition into the United States. Why? They can come through legal means through the airport. Why are they doing it? Because they don't qualify. That's why. So, yeah, I have a lot of emotions in this. I, I, I really love, I spent a lot of time in, in Mexico and South America, and, and I, I really love the people. The people are, are wonderful people, as are most people around the world. You'll find a great deal of people migrating here come from countries that have recently turned to a socialist or a, or a uh, fascist uh, economy and... and, and uh, political point of view and, and they're fleeing tyranny. But we're not addressing that. We don't address this new threat in our hemisphere. We address, instead we just tell them migrate to the US, which goes against international law because they have to go through Mexico. They have to seek asylum in Mexico or whatever the next border down is. We, we've just thrown out the rule of law and, and which is chaos. And that's what we're dealing with, chaos. The path to balance, it's going to be a tricky one. There's, there's a lot on both sides of the coin uh, to think about. What are, what are first steps, in your opinion, on, on getting some sort of a semblance uh, so that we have somewhat of control over who's coming in and how they're being treated when they come in? Well. Operationally, you, you, you can't do anything until you control the border. You just can't because otherwise we're, we're just playing second fiddle to the cartels and what they choose to do. And what they choose to do is never good for the U.S. So I think we need to secure the border properly. I think we need to rectify the problems that are in our current migration system because it is another bureaucratic nightmare. I think that, that we have gone from a country that accepts uh, migration in a legal way, in high volumes, quickly, to a country that picks and chooses its winners and 
gives political favors. I, I just, I think we need to get less out of the, I hate to say it, the politics, okay? But it seems like the bureaucracy has so much control and so much of a stranglehold on everything that nothing happens. So people become desperate to, to circumvent the system. Like I said, the majority of people coming across the border are, are good people, but there is a high percentage of very dangerous people. So that has to be stopped. You can't tolerate that. I, uh, I think we need a lot more force on the border. I think secondly, we need to do a lot more to put pressure on those countries that have gone uh, to a socialist state where they can't support their population. I, I would say in the previous, in, in the early or late uh, 2018, 2017 and before, I would say the administrations would have quickly acted on some of the events in South America because we, it was agreed at one time we would not allow uh, communist or socialist philosophies in, in the Southern Hemisphere uh, of our, of our uh, continent. And that's because it's a threat to everything we do. And yet it's exploding like never before and displacing huge numbers of people. So how do you take, can we take care of all those people? I don't know. Now, from a political perspective, I think it's, it's two different opinions. My opinion is the majority of those people coming in would vote conservative because by nature, Hispanic and, and Latin are very conservative, uh, family-oriented people. But I've heard some say that they're being brought in to replace the electorate because the electorate is starting to turn more conservative and certain people want to see uh, more leftist point of views. Don't agree with it again. I, I think they're going to find this one bites them in the backside. But nevertheless, I think that's some of the intention that's going on. I think to, it wants, they want to overburden our uh, welfare systems. Cloward and Pivens wrote a long time ago, the way you, turn, the way you destroy the U.S., you'll never destroy them head on. The, we're just, we have too many people that are willing to fight for their own rights and have guns. The way, way you defeat the United States is you overburden its kindness and its freedoms which is welfare, which is, uh, you know, people that don't work, which is trying to, to grant favors to uh, students, you know, wiping out their debt. All those things are what Cloward and Pivens described, you know, back in the 60s as to how to flip the United States over. So I, I just think, I think there's a whole bunch of elements involved. I think you need to boil it down to its most primary issue and start there. And that is stop illegal migration, stop drugs from coming over the border, and then let's move from there. Locking down the border or upping security at the border is of the utmost importance I think to start with. I don't think you can do anything else. Okay, if your house has a leak in the basement, you the plumbing is flooding, what is the first thing you do? Stop the flood. That seems logical to me, kind of a law of nature. Why wouldn't we do that with this event? What about the asylum seekers? The asylum seekers, I think, is, is a, a the problem with our, our bureaucracy again. We don't have the capability to process large volumes of people earnestly. So what they're doing is they're just saying, okay, well, here's a pass. Yeah, come back someday. Well, who's going to come back with a possibility they're going to be deported? Right. That just doesn't make sense either. So we need to find a way to, to give them a mechanism to apply from where they are or from the next country over. Theoretically, they should be applying for uh, in, in Mexico because they're the adjacent state to us. They all have to go through there before they get to us. By international law, they should be forced to apply there. Now, if we put something like an embassy down there where people could apply from there, I can see that. Even if it's right on the southern border of Mexico, you know, we'll process paperwork from there. But don't go through the death-defying act of, of that journey where you're at the mercy of bandits, you're at the mercy of the cartel, you're at the mercy of every shyster that exists. Let's make it safer for them. There's no humanity in what we're doing. No, not n not at all. Especially on that trip up here, I've seen I've seen some of the of the footage, the the documentary footage of that uh, that trip that that a lot of families are taking, and it's it's a long and a, and a hard one. I, I want to bring back something you said earlier as well. The 
the responsibility of the U.S. to first uh, to or to better start identifying some of the push factors from those areas these migrations are starting from, um, I think is is a great idea. Once we identify them, though, do you feel the U.S. has a responsibility, you know, or or should we even be intervening? No, we have a self interest. So the United States should act in its own self interest. We. We do not have the right to dictate how other people live. I don't, do not believe in that. I do not believe in, uh, in dealing with anything but a threat to our, our existence. However, that's in our self-interest. If, if we can stabilize South America, make them a productive society, they could, they could solve a great deal of our supply chain. We are committed to China in, in the majority of what we use to manufacture and what we use in our, as a, a society. Why don't we transfer that to South America? Why don't we help them to become something better? Why are we not engaging with Brazil and they're having to deal with China to develop their minerals and their oil? Why? Because we haven't done the right thing. We're promoting global welfare not the United States' welfare. And when we do that, we're ineffective.